Hello guys, it's Maddie. I'm in a different side of my room because it's all cozy and whatnot over here. I can stretch around. I'm not at my crowded tiny little desk. Um, so, hello, good evening, good night. Uh, good night is when you are leaving. Good evening. Um, yes, it's nighttime because I swear I'm nocturnal and this is, uh, I get up at night. Um, I've been up since 11, but I took my nightly shower and then put on makeup because that's my life. I'm gonna have to take this off before I go to sleep so I don't get old and look like a piece of crust. Um, I'm so excited because something came in the mail for me earlier this week and I'm finally, I'm gonna, I decided instead of just ripping it out and trying it right away since this is like new and I assume most people don't know about it because I didn't know about it, but I, I mean, I don't know about anything. I'm just assuming people didn't know about it because like people I know don't know about it not like I know that many people because I have no friends. Anyway, there's a thing, it'll send you wine in the mail. So, from what I understand, thank you Pinterest, because I was looking at wine and cheese pairings because Homegirl loves wine, especially Moscato, um, and I just turned 21 so now I can legally buy my own wine instead of like my mom being like, I brought wine! I can buy it myself and I can do whatever I want. So, they have this thing, like a subscription box, kind of like Ipsy, but instead of Ipsy, it's wine. Um, they send you this box. It's really tiny because what it is, is tasting wines. So that you can taste them, see what you like, and that's good for me because I like very specific types of wine. I have not found the red wine that I like, and my friend Lisa's getting into wine, and I'm really into, like, wine and food pairings. Um, I'm really doing, I'm doing like exploration to find what kind of wine is the best with like fast food like Taco Bell and McDonald's and crap because I like that stuff and who doesn't want a bottle of wine with some Pizza Hut because hello, that's the life. I'm probably not going to continue to pay for it. I might, I don't know. We'll see how my funds are because Homegirl doesn't have a job and I have $200 a month that I got to spread out and if I would like to keep buying weed then I, I shouldn't spend all my money on wine. Although, weed and wine would be a nice thing to pair. I would love that. So, you know, if DC would get it together with this weed thing so that I can buy, like, really cool strands of wine and do, like, a wine and weed pairing thing, that would be so cool. Like, okay, DC, get it together because I'm ready to buy, like, some awesome weed. Um, but let's open the box. So, this box is so hella cute. You get the... I don't think I- I already opened it, kind of, but, um, the box looks literally just like the, uh, box they show you online. Like, look how much space is in here. Um, oh, it's really cute. So you get this little, uh, pamphlet, need more wine right away? No problem. Click ship now. It'll send you a lot of wine. So it gives you this little welcome thing, and it's really cute. Um, so... Yeah, you gotta taste them and rate them and enjoy. Here's the little box, just like they show you online. It's really cute. It looks just like the the box on there. I'm gonna open this. I haven't opened it yet. Welcome to the tasting room. You gotta log in, you gotta taste, and you gotta rate. That's what it says on the box. Um, they give you a tasting mat. Again, be sure that the numbers on the bottles match what you see on your screen. Take small sips. You may be asked to taste and compare the wines more than once. So they give you this. This is really cool, because... It, they did say it was going to be like a guided session. So this is the white wine side, and this is the red wine side. Oh my god, these are so cute. Um, here's the little bottles. I don't want them to fall out. They're so adorable. I love cute little tiny things, so this is adorable. Um, I, They don't have a cork, thank god, so I don't have to... I broke my wine opener the other night trying to open that dumb bottle of Moscato up there. Um... I don't understand, the cork was just in it, like, and it was being stubborn, and I went to put my wine opener in it, and it just was not having it, and then the cork just, the screw got broken in the thing, so then I was like, well, what am I, the fuck am I supposed to do right now? Doesn't matter. Anyway, the website is called The Tasting Room. Okay, so, if you were to go online to The Tasting Room, this is what it would look like. You get a little box, like the box that I had in my video of little wines and these are the tasting ones and eventually you get the bigger bottles that they send you bigger ones later so how it works you rate your kit you taste six different bottles you guys can read you get your wine profile whatever you get personalized shipments and then you rate the wine as you go um, 
It's great, you get a schedule, 12 bottles of wine, blah, 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 blah. What are you waiting for? Um, so yeah, so you get started. And you take this little quiz. So let's say I like milk chocolate. And then you click next. And I don't like coffee. I actually like dark chocolate. Why did I click that? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I already got my box. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> you like berries. So then you would just sign in, um, you know, and you would click get your kit. And then, you know, the tasting kit is $9.95. I swear when I signed up for it, it was like $6. But maybe it's 9 now. I have no idea. Anyway, you, you, you pay this. You pay this $9.95 thing. Instead of paying the retail price, which is this, by taking the thing. And you get this. This pays for shipping and handling, blah, blah, blah. And um, you get your little box in the mail. And it's great. And then you go through the process of what wines you do and don't like. So that's awesome. Um, I definitely recommend doing it. You won't be wasting money. I thought I saw somewhere that... The wine subscription here after this price was like $88 or something like that. But if you think about it, you're getting 12 bottles of actually really good wine. And if you were to go out and buy $12 of really good wine, you would definitely be paying a lot over $88. And this is every two months, I, I think. So, you know, if you want to know, you can go down to the bottom of the screen and click FAQ. And they have everything you need to know where the wines come from, uh, what you need to do, has membership stuff, how do you join, how often you receive the shipments. Um, you know, I clicked that and it didn't even go to it. How often, how often, excuse me, where is it? Oh, it's number two. So why am I like, how often am I, yes, yeah, so you receive a new case of wine two months after we send the first case there after you get it every two months. So it's basically just $88 every two months, and I think that is awesome. Let's get on this tasting adventure now. I'm excited. So I need a wine glass. Let's just drink that little bottle. Just like, hello. Okay, um, let's get started. Um, okay, so now that you've received your tasting kit, Start tasting! Alright, so, uh, this, I already read this, it's okay to have wine. Let's start with the white wine. So, I guess we're gonna start with this card first. Um, chill your wine bottles for at least 20 minutes and take them out for 5 minutes before start. Nobody told me this! I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that, okay? Because if I had known, I would get two clean, dry glasses. Do I need a- I, ugh, Whatever, so I've got two clean wine glasses. This is my cute little glass from Key West. It's hand painted by somebody that lives there on the little boardwalk. It was really cute. Anyway, tells me to get these two glasses. I've had this one for, my friend Sarai got me this for my 16th birthday. It's hella cute. Um, I get a wine glass every year for my birthday. Yet I only have three and I'm 21, so I don't know how that works. I've been getting them since I was 16. I guess it just depends on the year. Anyway, let's click time to taste. Click on the wine you prefer. Am I supposed to taste them now? So that's this one. The Coq Le Bleu. That's this one. Hello. Focus. Focus on me. It's a 2015. It's, this is the cutest little bottle. Um, so that one's number one. And here's the second one. I really like the... the, the... Hey, is this the same one? It doesn't even look the same. Agate and Elm. It's not even the same thing in my thing, is it? It's not. That's so weird. Okay, well, we're gonna taste it anyway. I don't think I'm gonna drink out of the glasses. I'm gonna be a bad wine connoisseur and... Oh, it smells nice. What is this? What kind of wine is this? Coke Key Gas... I don't know. I can't read French. Um, we're gonna pour this in here. It's so cute! I can't wait till the bottles are empty so I can put them on my um, little shelves on my really pretty wine bottles. But I've got Moscato up there. That's my favorite. Um, it's my favorite because the bottle's blue. Ooh, that one tastes like fruit. 
tastes like fruit. I like it. I like it a lot. That's this one. This one with the little chicken on it. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to drink out of the glasses because, like, I only got three wine glasses. I'm not going to keep cleaning them. I'm sure it tastes better. This is a Chardonnay. I don't even think this is the right kind of thing. Hmm. Okay, I like the first one better for sure. So, um, excellent. How much more did you like it? A lot more. Great, you're done with the white wine. That's so weird. Get two more glasses. Who has wine? Oh, I have more wine glasses in the attic, actually. I'm like... From when I moved out of my apartment, I had a bunch of wine glasses. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, okay. It's red wine side time. Okay, so I've got to put these in order of what they are. So number three is little cheetah. Why are these the same in my box? I'm so confused. What's happening? Was it? Is it? It's like incorrect or something? I don't understand what's happening. I don't understand what's happening right now. What the heck? I'm so confused. If these are not the same things I got in my box. That's so weird. Maybe I should like email them and be like, that's not the same thing. Because these are not the same things in here. But they have the numbers on them. So maybe I just need to do it by number because there are little numbers on the side of this. This one's number three and on the screen it's showing me three but it has a cheetah on it. And then it's showing me this chateau something. But three and four are this in my box. Not that. We'll just rate it based off of what it says. But um, alright. So let's open this red. I'm really skeptical because I have not had a history of liking red wine, so it looks like juice, but it probably does not taste like juice, so let's see. Oh! Oh my god, it's not bad, it's so mild! Oh my god, it tastes nice actually, I drink that all the time. Shit, I drink that all day every day. Wow, I like that one a lot. Okay, not expecting that at all. Let's go on to the next one. Let's get drunk. Don't think you can get drunk just drinking little tiny sips and bottles of wine. This is like a little airport. I feel like a child. Yay! Except children wouldn't be drinking wine. So, just kidding. This one says, uh, Piedmont. Oh, this is Italian maybe? Got to 2012. I don't know. I don't care. I can't read. Okay. Oh my god. This one I... I don't think I like that. Okay. It tastes kind of like trees or something. The other day, or like a couple weeks ago, I had a birthday cake. And in my birthday cake, um, it started to mold because I refused to put the birthday cake in the fridge because I wanted to keep it in my room and eat it, but my room's like an icebox anyway because it's winter. And it was I had my window open. It had snowed. It kept snowing. Um, so, you know, I, I just left it alone, you know. But there was molds growing in my cake, like little tiny spots, and it was only in a certain section of the cake. And the cake had like a cheesecake type mousse in the middle because vanilla was that cake that you get from Costco. It was the best cake in the whole world. But my stupid self didn't see it. So here I am sitting on the couch watching Sons of Anarchy eating my cake. You know, and I didn't see the little mold part. And um, I'm eating it and I go, ew, why does the cake taste like tree in the middle? That's so weird. So then I start tasting different portions of the cake. And it was in the portion where there was no mold. And so I ate it again and I'm like, it doesn't taste like mold now. I mean, it doesn't taste like trees now. That's weird. Then I ate it again and it tasted like tree again. And then the next day, I look at the cake and I start cutting it and I realize there's mold. And I was like, oh my god, I was eating mold. And I, I was like stressed, but then I was like, you know, I, I really like blue cheese, so. I'm not dead, so. <laughs> That's all that really matters. Not dead yet. Okay, now bottle of wine number five, which is still not the same bottle of wine that's on the thing. 
I really don't understand what's happening, but I don't know if they got it wrong. Um, here's the bottle. What, it, it doesn't want to focus? Hello? You can't even see this at all. But it says long wave. It has a cute little picture of a boat right here, and it says long wave. Um, a red wine blend. So, we'll see. It's going to ask me, it's asking me about wine number three and wine number five. And this one's wine number five, and I liked wine number three a lot. This one tastes like trees, too. It's not bad. You know, I'm just not a huge fan of, of um, red wine, you know, so it's not bad. It's really not. Number four and number five tasted very similar. So let's taste number six. This one is called Caramel Lion. I just like, this one's really cute. I'm definitely going to have this bottle out on my, um, on my desk or somewhere. I'll probably fill it with, like, once I finish the bottle, I'll probably fill it with, like, water and red food dye or something so it'll look cute still instead of just like a weird empty glass bottle hanging out i might put sand in it i don't know i've got this bottle is sand from key West. wait no this bottle is sand from a beach i went to in fredericksburg that's not really actually a beach but um well, funny story this broke one night in the middle of the night it was more like 2 a.m and i went to open my fridge and i have these bottles of wine on top of my mini fridge in my bedroom and um they all just, all the bottles and my wine glasses, everything fell. And this was the only thing that broke. And I didn't even realize it broke till the morning when I woke up and there was a, like, pile of sand in front of my fridge all over my carpet. So I had to fix that and clean that. And it was, like, in cracks and crevices in my fridge. But this is some sand from Fredericksburg. I keep them in Corona bottles. I kind of want to stay true to my Corona bottles. But I think sand in here would be kind of cute. Um, I don't know. Maybe if I have fun sand, maybe like colorful sand. But anyway, let's taste this. Mm, mm, mm. I like that more than the other two for sure, but the only red that I liked happened to be this one. This this trillis, trillis, whatever the poop. Um, I think the color is actually lighter too, so that's interesting. Maybe I like it because it's lighter. Um, are they all lighter? This one's not. This one's the lightest color, and I like that one the most. So the two reds I like are Carmelion and Trillius or whatever. These two are best. Um, I like both. Select any wines you would not like to receive full bottles of. So definitely not number five, definitely not number four. I don't understand because this thing is showing me what kinds of wine would you like. You can change this eight bottles of red, four bottles of white. Let's go with 12 bottles of white. Awesome. Go to my profile. That's so weird. I'm probably going to like go on and ask them like what happened and why the things were weird and Maybe I'll make a separate video or another video seeing, like, what the poop is going on. Um, that's so weird. Maddie, you like zesty wine. Because I don't even know if this is correct, because, like, that's so crazy. You like juicy, party pour, reds. Yes, that, that's true. That's definitely true. That's what I tasted. So, I don't know. That's so weird. I don't know. Um, this was an experiment. I thought it was fun. I thought it was really cute. Sorry I couldn't be more exciting for you guys, but I'm the one drinking the wine and like, hello, that's a good night for me. If I had a wine, if I had a glass of wine and a couple blunts, it would be a really awesome, great night for me, but Home Road does not have any weed. Not good. But I've got six bottles of wine, so... I mean, I can't be too sad about that. I've got six little mini bottles of wine, and they're cute as I don't know what. They're like little babies. I love them. So anyway, um, I'll put the link in the description box of this whole, like, tasting room thing, and maybe you guys can try it out. Do whatever you want. I don't know. I thought this was cute. Um, give this video a like and a thumbs up if you'd like me to do some more videos about anything and put some, uh, in the comments below tell me what you want me to do videos on because sometimes i don't know and a lot of times i'm just laying in my bed playing sims uh i like doing makeup but i'm not like super good at it um i want to do some sketches on this channel and i'm going to do some music stuff i mean you can see i have a piano back here and a guitar over here 
Yet I don't make any videos with my music stuff because, like, what's wrong with me? Um, I'm a, I'm a music major in college. You would think that I'm a music major with a musical theater minor. Like, you would think that I'm sitting here making videos for you guys, but I'm not. Like, I, I know two people from my high school that went to Juilliard, and, like, one of them, he's always posting little things on his Instagram. And I'm like, what am I doing with my life? Because should I be putting my little jam sessions on and stuff? I don't think to videotape or film anything when I start singing and playing my guitar. Like, I get really in my zone and I just want to enjoy it. So, I don't know. It'd be a lot more enjoying if people were watching it. Because right now it's just me sitting in my room by myself playing guitar. And that's weird. I don't know. Um, thumbs up this video. Don't thumbs it down because I'll be sad and I'll cry probably. But, you know, whatever. We all cry. Um. Join the tasting room. It'll be great, I promise. The wine was actually really, really good. And it's not that cheap bottle of wine because homegirl does not mess around with barefoot. I don't fuck with that. I'm sorry. That's gross. It's not it's not good. It's not good. Just don't even get it. Like if they sell the barefoot wine at the dollar store, you know it's not that great. And I had a Riesling barefoot wine. It was not that great. Okay, and I love Riesling. So if you want a good bottle of Moscato, by the way, get this one. It's the best Moscato on the face of the earth, and the bottle's really pretty. I think it's only like $15, so... I low-key drank the whole bottle, like, in one night, so... That's my life. It's that good. I drank it with cake. This tastes really good with with cookies. Um, Tastes really good with, uh, I went to Panera and got those big cookies with the M&M's in it, so this tastes really good with M&M cookies, just FYI. It was amazing. My mouth exploded with the best foodgasm, tastegasm that a girl could ever have. So, I don't have sex, I eat. So, be a virgin with me and drink wine and eat a lot of food. Get fat. Alright, I love you guys. I'm gonna go get drunk now. JK. Um, I'm probably just gonna go play Sims, go to sleep. Uh, have a wonderful night. Uh, and sign up for the tasting room, like, and subscribe to the video. Okay, bye.